All right, Gemini, you've shown up in so many other people's messages. This message is now for you. Off top in your energy, Gemini, we have spiritual message and guide. So the numbers 41 or 15, 15 and 41 may be significant to you but definitely a spiritual guide in your message. Either you are searching for some type of spiritual message or a guide. You are searching for an energy from someone. Like, I almost feel like you don't know what to do. Something in your life has been turned around and you need clarification or understanding or you're just trying to grasp a situation here and that's why this message is very um, deep and hopefully it will enlighten some things for you but definitely seeking a spiritual message or a message from a guide a person that you believe is a guide for you so in your past energy nine of Pentacles in your past energy energy of you feeling spiritually and materialistically satisfied perhaps you have had some personal achievement there was some inner peace maybe some milestones that you had to overcome but you were meeting some goals here you were able to harvest some energy or a destiny that you actually wanted things were looking up for you and just know i pre-pulled the cards because when i saw that message i knew that this was deeper than just a, a regular message. So Gemini, I'm definitely going to indulge in what you probably need to hear right now. This could be for a specific Gemini. This message might not be for all. Now we have the hangman's energy. So I feel like you in your past, you have sacrificed a lot. It could be a lot for your career, your job, your family. You sacrifice things here and you were waiting with uncertainty because you had a lack of direction because you felt the energy of being either a parent or committed to a job here, even committed in a relationship. And you could have sacrificed a lot for this reason. We have the Six of Pentacles. So there was an energy in a past relationship to where there was a lot of giving and a lot of taking from a person. Like they didn't give back to you the way that they should have. But you were really happy to do a lot for this person. You were highly generous. Um, you are a person that you can be a person of the community in your highest vibration because Geminis are generous. They really tend to be that person that can give you knowledge and advice and wisdom. And they do follow up with some gifts here and there as well. But you are definitely supportive in this energy and you were sharing everything that you had with this person or these people. Ten of Swords. So in that past energy with you giving everything that you have and kind of losing yourself in a situation, the Ten of Swords, something became unreal and it caused you to be in a survival mode or something became real too quickly. Um, it was a lesson that you, you've learned because you were stabbed in the back, betrayed, um, some type of despair that happened to you in this past energy. So let's get into some current energy. Five of Pentacles, as a result of this Ten of Swords here, um, someone betraying you, stabbing you in the back and causing you to be left alone in one of your most vulnerable situations. We have the Five of Pentacles, you feeling left out in the cold nowadays. Maybe you're coming across some financial hardship because of what you went through. You could be feeling mentally depressed or overwhelmed here. You have become a person that has kind of retreated. Now we know Gemini's can be social butterflies, but in this energy, I've, I'm feeling like you have distanced yourself from other people because you are struggling right now. And I don't know if other people really see this in you because you have a tendency to not tell everybody 
all your business. Like Gemini's can really grasp a lot about a lot of people and they'll tell you what they kind of want you to know. But in this energy, I feel like you're not telling people what is truly going on inside of you. But there is uh, some hardship, some feelings of being abandoned by others and and feeling like the world is against you. Like it's just you against the world. Maybe there has been some unemployment or just some loss of money because of a situation. Something disgraceful has happened and you can't even believe this has happened to you because you've been so good to other people. Why have people not returned the love and the and the favors that you have shown to them? The Hierophant in reverse. So a commitment or a bond has been broken. The Hierophant in reverse represents Taurus energy. So you could be surrounded by Taurus. You could know a Taurus. Um, but now you are feeling a need to kind of rebel. And pull away from others. So it's almost like. Even though you feel like you have been abandoned you're kind of pulling away from other people as well because you're feeling like that the people don't deserve to have you in their lives so I'm, I'm kind of confused just a little bit Gemini because it's almost like because you're not getting what you want you're making it harder for yourself as well the four of wands, something that you crave here, it feels like in this current energy is community, happiness, a happy home, something that you can celebrate, reuniting with someone or um, a reunion within family, being stable, just belonging, because I feel like you've lost the sense of belonging here because you've went through so much. But again, the same thing that you are craving is the same thing that you are pushing away because you have... You feel like you are being way too vulnerable right now and other people don't see it. I hope that makes sense. Like I'm feeling like you are trying to be vulnerable or you have been vulnerable, but other people didn't take it as vulnerability. They didn't reach out to you the way that they should have. So now you're just rejecting everybody. Before we run out of time, I, I really want to get into your Oracle card and it says to make decisions ask yourself which way brings me closer to my divine purpose which way takes me away from it so if you are looking for a guide and trying to understand this direction that you are on now you have to look within yourself to figure out what is your divine purpose something or someone's energy is saying i am with you giving you the courage to make life changes that will help you work on your divine life purpose and again, Gemini, you are looking for that guide. And someone is already with you, helping you. It's a good time to give birth to new ideas and situations in your life. I'm watching over you, guiding you, and protecting you during these changes. And lastly, schooling, study, and education helps your life purpose and personal growth at this time. The angels will guide you and help you with the the process and it is so funny that I pulled your advice in the page of wands new ideas four of pentacles here possessing and and giving stability clarifying with the four of pentacles here and the ace of swords clarity breakthrough new ideas concentration Lastly, we have the Empress here giving birth to new ideas or a new situation. A fresh start, something that is going to renew you here. So to understand your life's mission here, your your angels, your guides are really watching over you because they know that you are having a hard time. But you are never alone because they are sending you messages all the time. And that is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope it resonates.